Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another set of awesome mods today and these mods is the Cooler Main Menu mod and the Preview Optifine HD A1 Ultra Smooth Multi-Core AA for Minecraft 1.3.1. Optifine has a very long title and I felt like saying the whole thing because it's very, very hysterical. But anyways, let's check out the Cooler Main Menu mod. This is basically what the mod adds in. A awesome, cool main menu that has a lot of colors and a lot of videos like going on at the same time. You can see something going on over here and right here at this spot right here the location underneath the minecraft has a really cool like opening feeling it's just really cool if you would compare this to the vanilla minecraft title screen this one is a bit better i would agree that it is cooler so this is basically what the mod adds in it's just a really awesome title screen if you want to change it up a bit so here it is now another cool feature that I was uh, hoping for was a little button right here that you could click on and you could change between different title screens such as right here you could see that it's displaying the overworld. Let's say I wanted to display the nether so if I click on a little button right here it would go to a, a different title screen and it will display the nether. That would be really cool if you could switch between different title screens and you could actually uh, you know display the original vanilla title screen if you want. Now let's go ahead and check out the new Optifine so let's go here to single player and I'm going to go to this world which I was lagging earlier I am still lagging because I am rendering out another video using uh, cinema 4d so if I happen to lag it is not optifine it is because cinema 4d is actually uh, taking up a hundred percent of my memory so let's check out uh, you know this world it looks pretty nice I am in the optifine settings if I would press escape go here to options go here to uh, video settings it is lagging right now because I am rendering out a video and go here to video settings you could see that I have myself on uh, smooth lighting 100% and it will display a lot more keys than before. This is what I really do like from Optifine, it will display way more keys and you can actually have yourself a texture packs button right here. So you could click this texture pack button and change your texture pack in game. Even in multiplayer you don't have to sign out, you could just change it right here and press done and you'll still have the texture pack even in multiplayer without logging out. And another cool thing I like about Optifine is this render distance slider, so you could change the render distance and you could actually adjust it to whatever you like you could even have it all the way up to extreme this is like the the farthest you could ever get and I really do like the extreme they should already have this into the vanilla minecraft a little slider that would be really awesome and also another cool thing that Optifine does add in is if you hover over these keys it will pretty much describe and explain what these keys are about and it will tell you which one has the best performance which one has the, uh, the slowest performance mix and match these things and have fun with it so if you want a ton of FPS all I would do is just change my graphics to fast lower my smooth lighting to off and change my render distance to tiny this is like the lowest you can get with uh, you know Optifine now this is like the lowest quality and it looks like Minecraft Alpha or Beta. It actually does. It looks very, very cheesy. Look, my, my screen just froze because I'm rendering out a video and I'm trying to make this video at the same time, but it will fix itself right here. So here we are, and let's check how much FPS I have. I'm gonna press F3 and I have 240 something, 209. I have a ton of FPS because I went to the lowest settings and here we go, now I can play Minecraft break some blocks and collect it and do a let's play. So that is the preview of the find and once off the find officially comes out I will change the download links in the description so you'll get the most recommended download link but the preview one still works out very fine and I'm playing this in like really good settings. If you guys are still interested of any of these mods that I've talked about today and if you guys want to know how to install these mods let's go ahead and see how to install these mods. Thank you guys so much for rating my videos I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and install this mod. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install so we shouldn't have any errors. But the first thing I'm going to want to do of course before installing this mod is to go here to options and force ultimate game. The reason why I'm going to force ultimate game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get black screen and you won't be happy. So options, force update and login to download a brand new Minecraft thought jar in which we're going to mod. I'm going to go ahead and leave this updating so I'm going to minus this and you're gonna get the downloads from my description it's gonna take in my website you're gonna get the cooler main menu mod and optifine this is the preview version I will change the download once the recommended one has came out but it still works you're gonna get these downloads and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and once you have the downloads here let's go ahead and install this mod earlier uh, I was trying to install this mod called the better land mod 
but for some reason it totally fails this mod is pretty interesting I want to fix this installation I'm not sure what's wrong with it it's at version 1 I believe and it's kind of buggy I need to figure out how to fix it but anyways let's go ahead and install these mods we're gonna go here to start search program file we're gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users you should see here run and you run percent data percent it should take you up here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft at the very top. You need to go into your dot minecraft folder, you're gonna see bin, resources, save, and everything else. Go ahead and go into your bin folder. Before you open up your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder, you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed. Here's my minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mod, so exit off your minecraft game. Now you're going to right click your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder, open with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener if you don't have WinRAR, links in the description. So go ahead and open that up with WinRAR and move it aside. The first thing you have to do of course before installing any mods is to delete meta-inf. You have to delete meta-inf, so right click meta-inf and delete files. Say yes and delete meta-inf. Now meta has gone, now we can continue. You're going to open up the cooler main menu mod. So go ahead and open that up and move it aside. You're going to highlight these files and simply drag them into your minecraft.jar side and replace press OK. You are done with the cooler main menu mod. Go ahead and exit that off and move it aside. Let's move it all the way over here. So you're going to open up the Optifine. Go ahead and open up the Optifine, move it aside. You're going to see a ton of files. Uh, you're going to click on any file that you like and press Control A. You're going to highlight all the files by pressing Control A and simply highlight all the files and simply drag them all into your Minecraft.jar side and replace press OK and you are done, guys. That's basically how to install the mod. It's really easy and earlier before when I was lagging, uh, I told you guys I'm rendering something with Cinema 4D. It is. Look right here. But I can't show you. I can't show you what I'm rendering out because it's a super mega secret and I can't show anybody. Look, it's right here. It's rendering out and it causes a major lag because my FPS is super low. No, not my FPS. I mean my um, my memory. It's like at 100%. But anyways, here is Minecraft with the cool menu mod. And this is pretty cool. It has a nice menu. It looks all nice and fancy and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go here to single player. Go into uh, this flooded hills. If you guys want this world, download links in the description. But here, am, here I am. So I'm going to press escape. Go to options. Go to... Uh, video settings and bam here we are the full list of everything I can mess around with and it's a really cool mod if you guys uh, if you guys like this video thank you guys so much for rating it I really do appreciate you guys support I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you